All right, Professor, let's get on out of here. You are welcome aboard the Executor Express. Our safe driving record will absolutely slay you. Come on, come on, climb in. Ooh. This place is intense looking. Over here! I don't know if I like being close to the edge like this, but okay. Mount Hukulani is the second tallest mountain in Alola. And the tallest. And the tallest what? Oh. Check it out, Gum! I guess that's the tallest. Neat. You see that steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? I do. I do, Professor. Am I gonna have to go there one day? That's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. It's got a lot of construction going on up there. It's a sacred spot, yeah! The closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola. Said to be the sun incarnate. That's it, right there, on the peak of Lanakila. That's where I'll establish our Pokemon League. What? We'll get everybody who's finished their island challenges, yeah. And up there on the peak of Mount Lanakila, they'll battle against the Kahunas to become the Island Challenge Champion. I've always valued our traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. It's time to get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. Oh. I mean, I kind of just guessed you guys already had something like that because of past experiences, but neat. We get to see the formation of a, of a Pokemon League. To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being the Island Challenge Champion to the World Champion. And then when we have our own champion, they can show the rest of the world what's so special about Alola Pokemon and their trainers. Yeah! Hukulani Observatory is on Mount Hukulani's peak. The air is real clear at high altitudes. Yeah, you'll probably also uh, get a little bit lightheaded because the air will also be super thin at high altitudes. But that's cool. I'm glad to be able to see something like that. Let me guess, you're the bus driver and we can't go back down? Thank you for choosing the Executor Express. Want to ride down to the top of the base? Oh, no. Got it. Then just come give me a holler when you want to go down, okay? Neat. I mean, I can always just fly, too. <laughs> I can't fly to Route 10, though. I guess that's a balancing thing. So for now, I'm just gonna go chat it up with other people. What are you doing? Thanks to Pokemon's help, I can patrol even the peak of a mountain. That is a good idea. I wonder if I'll ever be able to get this giant horse thing. I forgot its name already. Whoa, are you walking down the mountain? It's pretty far to the next bus stop. No, I just want to talk to this person over here. Sorry, youngster, but I can't fight you. A Pokemon's like a brother to me, and he's not interested in battling weaklings. If you want me to ask him to uh, fight against you, then battle all the trainers on Mount Hukulani. Wow, what a dick. I bet I could beat you easily. But for now, I'm, I'm gonna go check out some of these other things. The peak of Mount Hukulani is the second closest place to space in the Alola region. Pokemon are in space too? Wow. That is, that, 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 that's a legitimate wild thing for me too. Wow. <gasps> Yo, can you move your car? <laughs> There's a Pokeball behind it, very conveniently. Uh, I guess inconveniently, really. Hey there! Uh, you're still as fired up as ever, eh, Royal? Ha! <laughs> um, let me introduce you. This is Mulane. He runs the observatory here and also manages PC bots, but he's not Hukulani's captain. But I was the captain once, my masked friend. It's calm, right? Thanks for coming all the way up to Hukalani to visit us. But our Captain Sophocles is a busy young man. Oh, it's Sophocles is the captain? Maybe I should visit the festival a little bit more often. Always calculating comets, paths, or working on that festival plaza thing of his. So I'll just determine whether you're qualified to take on the trial. I'll gladly show you the skills of a trainer who toughened up while venturing alongside Kikui back in the day. Oh, he's battling me? Oh! Um, well, it's a good thing I healed. God, what type of Pokemon do you use, Malane? It's always gonna be a surprise for us. Skarmory? Oh, that's Steel! <laughs> steel, huh? 
What a shame it would be if fire came down from the heavens and just shattered you. Actually, you know what? This is a good opportunity. Uh, Doof Doof, can you do anything against steel types? Not really. So, yeah, we'll swap over. Anger Kitty. Let's show the Skarmory what's up. Skarmory is one of those really cool types of Pokemon that I was like, oh, I want that. Because, like, I saw it in the anime first. And I was like, I want a Skarmory too! And I definitely had it. I don't remember how often I used it, but I definitely had it. Blast burn! Oh shit! That looks awesome! Oh, you little mo. Okay. I see how it is. Well, I'll hit you with something else. No, no, you know what? I lied. I'm gonna hit you with Blast Burn again. Oh, I have to wait because of that. Ah, uh, Crap. Well, I could just do Fire Pledge. I wanna see what that one's like. Fire Pledge! That one's kind of like a... Like, blast burn, but just a little weaker. In terms of, here's a bunch of fire shooting out of the ground into the Pokemon. I don't even know what level Marini girl, uh, levels up. I didn't fully examine that. Uh, Doug Trio, will you swap your Pokemon? Yeah, sure, I'll fight with a Doof Doof. Doof Doof is, or D Doug Trio should be ground. And... Actually, Golossipod would be good against that, too. Yeah, we'll give some Golossipod love. Because they pretty much have the same water moves anyways, which is Scald. Hi, Duck Trio. Wow, those are some luscious locks! Can't wait to destroy them with water. Water that can burn. Oh, wow, ouchies. You sucker punch against me. I want to use sucker punch. Dude, is that- did it survive with Sturdy? Okay. I was about to say. Getting real, uh, getting real tired of that. I need to replace Sand Attack now that I've got this Marini. Same with False Swipe. But maybe having Bug Well and Swap, False Swipe would be a good thing. Alright, what else do you got for me? Metang. That... It's the fully evolved form of Magnemite, I think, so I'll send in Salandit. Because that has Flame Burst. <gasps> and it can also poison Steel types! <laughs> you know what? That is not Magnemite. It's evolved form. Uh... Uh-oh. I might have made a mistake. I don't know what kind of attacks this thing has. I remember- I had- I had the- the fully evolved form of this. I just don't remember its name. Ow! Well, it didn't do a ground move or anything on me. Let me look this up. Metang. Metang is... a steel psychic type. Oh, thank god. So it's- it shouldn't really do any ground things against me. Oh no, come on. Come on, man. Why you gotta be like this? You know, whatever, I'm still gonna poison you again! It's still weak against, like, fire moves, so I can legitimately just attack it with my fire-type stuff. I just wanna see how much damage this is gonna do. Battle Shock. Whoa, Bullet Punch! That sounds like it hurt a lot! Okay, now we're good. I, always, I, I keep expecting my Salandit to, like, super die. What? Really? Why? You're poisoned! I have the ability! That makes it so I can attack you! With poison attacks! Corrosion! Poison can poison the target even if it's a steel or poison type. I guess I still can't use Venoshock against it. Alright. Let's, uh, I'm just gonna hit with fire, then. 
melt the damn thing. I mean, getting a bunch of poison damage is good still, anyways. Especially with Toxic, because I think the damage keeps on increasing and increasing. The longer it stays poisoned, so... Yeah! It's not gonna last beyond this. You shouldn't have used your full restore so immediately, friend. All right, sound it got to 33, which means it's time for it to level up. Thrash. Hmm. What is that? It's a normal type move. The user rampages and attacks for two to three turns. The user the man then becomes confused. Ooh. I kind of like that. It would be a normal type move, which would help when we're in situations where a darker fire type wouldn't help. And 120 damage for two to three turns is also still a lot. I think I'll replace Fire Fang. I'm just looking at like basic damage numbers. And like this is 80. This is 65. But with that said... We have a lot of attack bonuses? So it might be better just to go... Oh God. I can always relearn all these moves later on. Thrash! You're with Kakui. Looks like he brought along a good trainer. He looks so just disappointed. He's like, wow, I got my butt kicked by a kid. And if you fight me again, it'll be even worse because I've got an evolved Saladit. All right, your Saladit evolved into Salazzle. Okay, so what kind of information there? I think, actually, no, I think I already read the information on this. It's gonna be the harem stuff. There's only females. For some reason, only females have been found. It creates a reverse harem of male Salandid that it lives with. That's so weird. I think I, I read the, uh, the moon Pokedex entry as well. And apparently, it emits a scent that attracts male Saladits and males of all species. Which, I find kind of funny. So, <laughs> and that includes humans too, so you can just walk around and suddenly like, what the hell's that? And then you just walk over and there's just a lazar and you're like, oh god damn it happened again. Alright, what the hell is Captivate? If any posing is a- get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Partially lowers its special attack stat. No, I'm good. So Lazo did not learn Captivate. So I think the combo for us would be to poison a target, use Nasty Plot, and then hit them with Venom Shot. That's what we're hoping for in the future, at least. Well, well, you certainly seem qualified to take on the trial. Yeah, I think he's even stronger than we were at this point of our island challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name is Kakuhi. Who's this masked roar you're talking about? <laughs> All right, cousin, I'm heading back to Melee Garden. I figure Hal should be done eating Malasada by now, yeah? I'll make sure he, he makes it up here, too. <laughs> Everyone knows he's royal. That guy's as interesting as ever. My old buddy. Welcome to our observatory, Gom. So what kind of things can I do inside of there? I think you'd better go with Malane there, pal. See what Hokulani Observatory has to offer. Sure, but before I do that, I'm gonna heal up and also investigate what's going on with all the people in here. Oh, there's only like three. That's different. Oh, four, four, four. He's got to star me. Me. 
Uh, I don't actually want to buy anything from you, but wow! Holy crap! When consumed, it raises the base HP of a single Pokemon. I don't know if I should do all this hmm. stuff. Hmm. I don't know if I care for it. My Starmie. It's been pointing itself towards space and landing at its core. Do you think? Do you think it's sending some kind of message? I mean, it could also just be blinking its eye in an admiration of space itself. I don't really know much about Starmies, though. Uh, what do we got? It would probably be good to buy a couple of Awakenings. Just in case we fall asleep and I'm like, no, I don't want that to happen. Man, revives are so expensive. Uh, and we're good. Anything I want to capture here, usually I'm just gonna throw Ultra Balls at it because I'm ridiculous. The Pokemon storage system that our PCs used was developed by a man from Kanto named Bill. Though the Alola store storage system is maintained by our own Mr. Mullane. Well, that's neat. I do remember Bill. Did I heal already? I've repressed things. No, I haven't. I should swap some things out. Uh, doof doof. I'm gonna replace you with... Slazzle. In hopes that we can just throw things... Actually, oh, I can also just use Golossify. It's a pretty strong starter type, but... A lot of things are resistant against bug attacks, so meh. Whereas against poison? Or fire? Not as much. But it's a fucking glass cannon Pokemon, so... It's always risky to have it first. Still, toxic? Shot. I want it. I love having the cafe space in that PMC. Drinks normally cost an arm and a leg up on the mountain, you know. I... I wouldn't know. Actually. Never been to the top of a mountain. Like, ever. Hopefully one day it might happen, though. Even if it's like a small mountain. I never intend to climb... Like a ridiculously tall one. I, I'm not... I'm not that... Narcissistic. Here you are. One lemonade just for you. Did you know the aid part of lemonade originally comes from the Kalos region? The reason I run a cafe is because everybody's... Really, uh, I thought I was gonna explain more about it. Why, why, why did the Kanto region name it Lemonade? We'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. Yeah, I mean, thanks for the Pokebeans. I mean, I'm pretty darn good with Pokebeans anyways, but whatever. I relax here at the cafe while my partner takes it off easy on Pokepelago. Ah, oh, what a life. I just chill on the mountain and then my Pokemon shows out on an island. It's great stuff, honestly. Now, what's going on in Mulane's place? I should save. Oops, I pressed A too quickly. Am I going to have to fight people here? Oh, you know what? They did say the trial was against electric types. What's going to get electric type in my party? Nothing. Well, that's, that's fair enough. <laughs> Take this to commemorate your visit to the observatory and keep a bit of space with you. You obtained a comet shard. Ooh. Cool. It's a fragment that fell to Earth when a comet passed by our planet. You can feel the vastness of space. Oh, what a sense of adventure! I do like space things. We use different waves such as infrared waves and radio waves to detect celestial bodies. That's it. He's, he's, I gotta dump this information on the kid here. Radio waves and celestial bodies. We like to discover places in outer space. We uncover the universe by having our huge computer calculate and calculate until there's nothing left to calculate anymore. Please don't fail us now, computer. It is an explanation of how the astronomical telescope was constructed. The telescope has been made so that it can detect many different types of lights. Wait, so you have like a simulated version of the universe here? Uh-oh. This month's column was about Pokemon and stars. Do you know which of the many Pokemon discovered has to do with the stars? Our columnist here uh, is here to tell you. Gathalil... Gathatel? They can predict the future from the placement and movement of the stars. They can see trainers' lifespans. Wow. Cleffa. When numerous me meteors illuminate the night sky, sightings of Cleffa strangely increase. Fucking... What Pokemon? Gothatel. I'm looking it up. Gothitelle. 
I've never seen that before. When did it come out? Generation 5. Well, that explains it. Anything between, like, Generation 4 and now, I think I don't know much about. Actually, even might be three generations. Or, like, Generation 3. Generation 3 and now. Whew. 